What up everybody, this is Kelvin and welcome back to my channel where we discuss financial wellness, mindset therapy, and real estate. In today's video, I'm actually gonna cover everything you need to know about Dun & Bradstreet and how you can utilize them to help establish business credit. Stay tuned. My channel is all about giving you the most fluff-free, straight to the point content, no matter the subject. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you will be alerted and aware whenever I drop some new fire content. Now let's get right to it. Dun & Bradstreet, also known as DMB, is the leading resource for providing commercial data to business, lenders, vendors, and suppliers. No different than consumer credit bureaus, Dun & Bradstreet specializes in providing insights to lenders about your business. Simply put, they build a report card that tells lenders, vendors, and other creditors whether or not they should really do business with you based on your track record. When you first form your business entity and register your business with the Secretary of State for your area, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head on over to Dun & Bradstreet's website and then register for your Dun & Bradstreet number, also known as your DUNS number. So your DUNS number is an identifier that will be assigned to your business that allows lenders to have access to your Dun & Bradstreet credit profile. Along with your EIN number, your DUNS number will be used to begin establishing business credit for your company so that you can gain access to high limit credit cards that do not report to your personal credit report and low interest rate, no money down business loans. So you can start using OPM to build your real estate empire or just simply get loans so that you can have working capital to keep your business going for many years to come and pass down to your seeds. But to do that, you must first establish good business credit. Once you establish business credit with Dun & Bradstreet, you will then generate a credit score called your Paydex score. Your Paydex is your business's credit score essentially, and it ranges from one all the way up to 100, with 80 to 100 being considered low risk, which is what you should be aiming for, 50 to 79 being moderate risk, and then zero to 49 being considered low risk, which is definitely what you want to avoid. You may be thinking, but how can I get a 80 payday score or higher? There's really three simple ways that you can establish a good payday score. The first one is kind of self-explanatory. You just gotta pay your bills on time or ahead of schedule. So obviously, having a late payment will definitely be a detrimental thing. So you wanna avoid doing that. Keep track of it any way you can to make sure you're paying your obligations on time or early. So if you have a net 30 account, for example, that does mean you want to pay within 30 days. The second thing you'll wanna do is just keep track of what's reporting. How can you build business credit without having any payment history reporting to your business credit profile? Which leads me to the third thing that you can do to help build and improve that business credit score is having several, and I do mean about 10 or more, which is what I recommend, trade references report to your Dun & Bradstreet credit report. Now, when you're first getting started, you do wanna start with a tier one account, right? Tier one would be like the net 30s that you've heard me talk about in so many of my other videos, like you know the Grangers and the Ulines of the world. Of course, those are the two popular ones that you probably hear everybody talking about. So when you start with those, you do wanna have at least two of those report in order to even have your payday score generated. Now there are, again, three different types of vendors and or trade references that you can build or sign up for. The first being vendors, right? So vendor accounts are either gonna be net 30, net 15, net seven. These are all payment terms. So when you sign up for these uh, vendor accounts, you're either gonna have a website that you shop on or you're gonna be paying for an automated service that reports your payment terms 
to the business credit bureaus. And that's how they keep track of your payment history. The second type would be revolving accounts. So revolving accounts would be gas cards, store cards, or any other credit cards that has a monthly payment every single month. And you know, when you pay the full balance, you still have an open account with them. So the third option would be to have a installment account. So installment accounts are traditionally loans, right? Business loans of any type, even cash day advances or merchant cash advances in the business credit world. These will be installment accounts and they do help build your business credit as long as they are reporting to Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, Experian, the SBFE, or Credit Safe. The key is to find vendors that report. Now, believe it or not, a majority of the vendors and you know trade lines out there, uh, commercial accounts, I should say, that allow you to sign up under your business, do not report. For example, Best Buy, Best Buy credit card, that's the commercial account that you can get with your business, but even though it's great to shop at Best Buy, it would not help establish your business credit because it does not automatically report. Now, if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I will show you how Dun & Bradstreet can help you self-report vendors that don't report. Aha! Aha! I do recommend having at least 10 trade lines report to Dun & Bradstreet simply because you want to take advantage of the fact that Dun & Bradstreet has the widest variety of vendors that sign up with them to report. Now Experian and Equifax, they can be a lot more difficult to establish business credit with, but most tier one accounts do report to Dun & Bradstreet. So again, you will need at least two vendors reporting to generate your business credit score. And then from there, the more you build, the better. And then here's a little gem um, that I've confirmed with a sales rep or how, whatever you call them at Dun & Bradstreet. So whenever you have, let's say X number of vendors, there's always gonna be a line of credit or a credit limit associated with that, even with net 30 accounts whether it be $500 or $5,000, Dun & Bradstreet will keep track of the total amount that your business has. The higher the amount of credit that your business has, the better your risk factor and the better your actual Paydex score will be. Now, with that being said, Paydex isn't the only thing that matters when it comes to your Dun & Bradstreet. It is the number one thing, but they also have something called a Dun & Bradstreet rating. Now this rating was literally created to help lenders predict how likely your business will go out of business. However, Dun & Bradstreet is much more than just a snitch, I meant informant. They actually have several different products and features that are all designed to help you take control of your business credit profile. One of the most important things about building business credit is monitoring your business credit report. You got to see what's up there. You got to see what did or didn't report. So here are the different credit monitoring plans and memberships that Dun & Bradstreet has available to help you do just that. The first one is free. It's called Credit Signal. Now with Credit Signal, you do have access to view your business profile and all your business information. And when you first sign up for Credit Signal, they will give you a 14 day trial to actually see four of your Dun & Bradstreet credit scores and ratings. Now, of course, after that 14 days is over, you will be stuck with the bare minimum. The only thing you'll really be able to monitor is your inquiries. So whenever you apply for a business line of credit or any type of business vending, you will have a inquiry alert. Besides the inquiry alert, there's really nothing else you can do. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Give me one second. So guys, as you can see here at the bottom of this sample page, you can view and update your company profile, right? Which is, you know, it's cool. It does include your DUNS number, the date of your corporation, you know, the number of employees you have, and then your annual sales, etc. If you look up and down, you see how there's really nothing else you can do. And to be honest, I think this um, 
the way this free membership page is set up is designed to piss you off and force you to upgrade your account to get full access. The first upgrade from the Credit Signal program will be the Credit Signal Plus, which is actually only $15 a month. And with this Credit Signal Plus for 15 bucks a month, you will get your Paydex score, which is the Dun & Bradstreet score, and you get four other scores and rating. Now let me show you a sample of how your profile will look if you had this program. As you can see here, there are a total of five different scores and ratings that you will have access to. Now notice how the color changes based on how good or how bad the rating is. Green means good, and then all the way down to red means terrible. Now the next upgrade you can get is actually called the Credit Monitor Plan. And with this plan, you get everything that you got from the previous one, which was the Credit Signal Plus, except you also get dark web monitoring where you get to choose one email to monitor to see if it's linked to any dark web activity. And then you also get full and detailed explanations of your scores and your ratings to help you understand it a little bit more. And then you also get to see where you match up or rank in comparison to other businesses in your industry. Notice how with the credit monitor plan, you can actually see your financial strength at the top of the page. And then in the middle, you can see your overall business risk factor. And then at the bottom of the page, you can see things like your legal events. With this sample, it shows one judgment, one lawsuit, and then two other legal events dating back to 2014. Now that concludes your credit monitoring products but there's also a plethora of business building and business credit programs you can also sign up for, which is pretty dope. Now the first credit builder plan that you can sign up for, which is technically the next upgrade from Credit Monitor, is called Credit Builder Plus. Now Credit Builder Plus is 149 per month, and with Credit Builder Plus, you get everything that you have with Credit Monitor, but, Here's what you've been waiting for. With this Credit Builder Plus, you can actually report, self-report, up to 12, 12 total trade references. Yes, this means if you have the Best Buy business credit card or commercial card that I was talking about earlier in this video that traditionally does not report, submit it to the Dun & Bradstreet Credit Builder Pro program, and once it's approved, they will begin reporting it every month to the Dun & Bradstreet profile. So you can do this for a total of 12, yes, 12 trade references. So I know what you're thinking, and I'm gonna tell you right now, yes, I do think this is worth $149, because you gotta think about it. As a little GIF would say, you gotta think about it. So 12, we're talking about 12 trade references. Now, each trade reference typically takes a minimum of $50 in order for them to report. So 50 times 12, that's 600 bucks. So this value that you're only paying 149 for is worth 600 bucks alone. So yes, it's worth your money. And remember, the key to building business credit is adding payment history. If you don't have any payment history to report, how could you possibly establish a better credit score? So the more trade lines with payment history, the better your score will be. And there's one more upgrade from the Credit Builder Pro, and it's actually called the Credit Builder Premium. Now you may ask, what else could I possibly get? Well, remember how I said you can do 12? With this one, you actually have an unlimited number of trade references that you can report. So if you're willing to dish out that $1.99 per month, you can report as many non-reporting trade lines that you can. So the Wells Fargo uh, secure business credit card that y'all love to argue with me about on whether or not it reports, guess what? Regardless if it's reporting for you or not, if you have this Dun & Bradstreet program, you can get any credit card, any Net30, Net15, Net7, and any installment uh, account or loan reporting to your Dun & Bradstreet profile as long as you have either the Credit Builder Pro or excuse me, the Credit Builder Plus or the Credit Builder Premium programs. 
And last but not least, they also offer a concierge. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. So with this concierge, they basically, uh, they're add-ons, right? You can get one-on-one -on -one, uh, consultations with a rep from Dun & Bradstreet, and then you also get even more education and details and tips and, and you know different things that can help you establish more business credit. Now that you know who Dun & Bradstreet, aka DMB is, and you know what they do and how you can use them to help establish more business credit for you, I want you to do me a favor and either hit the like button or subscribe if you found anything in this video helpful. And as always, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of the day it is. Thanks for watching.